So up to this point, you would have downloaded your data. You would have Landsat 7 and Landsat 8 data. Now, both of them can be brought in in the same way. So we're not going to be doing anything that's a little bit um, that, that, that you, you have to do something different for both kinds. You can even do this one with uh, Landsat 1 through 5. So that's also available to you. So with Envy, you go to the Open button. And then you can go to your original data. So for example, maybe I want this one. I've unzipped that. So you're going to have all these files. There's a whole load of files here. But what we really want is this bottom text file. And so if you pull that out, you're going to see it's called an MTL file. You see the last MTL.txt. This one is what we're going to load. You don't need to highlight anything else. If you click Open, then it's going to load. And here it is. So it was as easy as that. <laughs> now, if I go to the data manager, you're, which is this button beside the open button, <laughs> and you're going to see all of the data is in little databases. So this is a Landsat 8 image. And I know that because it says LC08 here. But so it's Landsat 8, so it has a whole bunch of different kinds of sensors on board. The first one is your optical band, so you can see that it's created it. It's already named nicely. You can see what the average wavelength is. We have the panchromatic band, then we have the cirrus band, the thermal, and then your BQA band. So those are already separated up into their own um, databases. Now they are not saved as databases, and that's something to really emphasize here. So when you opened it, all it did was it brought it in as separate databases. So if you need to save it, you, you can go, you can close that and you need to save it, go to file and you can say save as, and then you can save as an MV file. And then all of these you'd have to save independently. Okay, so um, I suggest it not worrying about that right off the bat because we're going to be doing a bunch of different things to it. So as we go. So to zoom to full extent, you can click on this button up here. These are all the zoom buttons. There's a um, set zoom out and a set zoom in based on scale. You can use this zoom button here to highlight a certain region and zoom right into it. Uh, then you got the hand, which is for pan, panning around. And then we've got the arrow, which can be used to select. Um, I often like to leave it in the arrow because I can use my wheel button. And so I can, if I pull the wheel towards me, then it's like I'm zooming out. And then if I push the wheel of my mouse towards the, the screen, it is like it zooms in. And then um, I can use the wheel to pan as well. So the arrow does have that flexibility with it. This little red cursor value, it tells me the value of wherever I've placed my point. And we'll get into this later, but we have our geodetic coordinates that are here. We have the UTM coordinates that are there, military projection, and then it tells us the, that the projection is in UTM um, zone 14, for example, in my case, and WGS 84. So if I'm looking for coordinates and I ask for UTM coordinates, you're going to look for these map coordinates because those are the ones you're going to use. Then down below, I have file coordinates, which are the pixel value that I have my point placed at. So looking at pixel coordinates, this is based on 0, 0 up top here. And then the last one are the radiance values. In the case of Landsat 8, it's the radiance values of, those, of that point. So this is red, green, and blue. So your composite, in my case, is RGB. So I have red, green, and blue that I brought in. So it'd be RGB. Now, if I were to use a different composite, so let's say I use um, those ones, for example, I'm going to load my data. It's going to load it here. And then I can see that now I have short wave 2, short wave 1, and near infrared. This is a 432. This one is a 754. So that's the composite values of that. And you can see here that there is the top one where it says 1. The 
those are the data values for that point. And then the same thing below, which is, so this is shortwave 2, shortwave 1, and near infrared. And then this one is red, green, and blue. So those are what those data values are. They're the actual pixel number. So once you've brought in your image, you'll be able to move on to the next, um, the, the next video, which we'll be getting into resizing.